Hello everyone, it is I, Pyron, here with another figure review. This time is my other Warhammer figure that I got from also Joe Toy as well. This right here is the Adept of Sword, his Order of the Blade of Rose, Battle Sister, Sister Ignacia. This right here is another of the 118 skill figures from Joe Toy Figures that I got a while back ago. But with that out of the way, let's go with the figure review. And we're back, and this is everything my Battle Sister, Sister Ignacia comes with. Now, I will say there's a, a little bit of TID note. I am missing uh, two of the extra hands right here, only because I, I, I have this figure already out for a while, so the other hands I'm trying to find. But for right now, just so you know, she does come with six manipulator hands. Right now, I only have four in the meantime. Uh, all of them are technically kind of... These right here are the closed ones right here. Well, one of them's closed. The other one's kind of slightly open so you can move around. The other ones are currently on right now. Our arms are the trigger finger ones. You can see right here. These are to hold the blaster rifles. Uh, what's it called? Then we got her helmet because she does come with two different heads that you can pull off. You have the main uh, full helmet on. Then you got a regular helmet, basically without helmet, with helmet. Then we got the bolter right here. Very nice design bolter as well. I really do like these Joy Toy figures. The detail work and coloring is always great with all these. And the detail work is pretty nice. The coloring is always good. I love these. Uh, this right here, I'm pretty sure, is either the Molter or Plasma Rifle. I'm not too sure. I have to go back online later and check this out. But, but once again, the detailing, the sculpting, the coloring is all pretty nicely good. That's pretty nice. She also has technically another accessory, which is her backpack, which can come off right here. It's got double packs right there that go in the back. As most of these are universal, her backpack as well. Detail work is fine. Sculpting is great. Coloring is good. And then we got the figure herself. Uh, once again, the detail work is pretty nice. All the sculpting is good. The coloring, everything matching up. All pretty finely nice. Looking pretty nice. One of the main reasons I chose this was, well, as you all know, my favorite color is red. And I've been meaning to get back to Warhammer, like I said before, with my other video. And getting these figures, little by little, have been getting uh, getting there. Though I am a little bit big fan of this Battle Sister, so what's it cold? I'm really happy about that. The, again, the sculpting is great. Everything looking good. Now with that out of the way, now let's go with the articulation of this. Now, we're going with the articulation. We're going to go with the head first. Head's able to move around because the head is taking out the ball joints. Able to do 360 with no problem at all. Got to be careful with the head. These heads do pop off, as you can see right there. And you can swap them off between heads. Just pop them on there. And boom. Heads back on there. With two different variants right there you can see right there once again both heads can f move 360 can move any direction no problem at all looking nice then we got the arms right here which can move which can move up and down all the way for the shoulder all the way over there then the joints the single joint right there as you can see right there or around and the hand can spin spin like always and then move a little bit up and down since it does have the little peg point same thing for the right arm to move all the way over there the joint as well single joint as well so i can go right hand can spin around and then move up and down a little bit she does have an ab joint so making sure she can move up and down that's the good thing about these having an ab joint ab crunch so she can move you can go 360 because i'm pretty sure she also has another of the single ball joints then on the legs now, unlike on the um, uh, Battle Sister that we saw last time, she actually can move her legs a little bit up. Not You can't do a split, but you can get there. Uh, leg can go all the way forward, all the way there, go all the way down, as it does have technically a double joint kneecap right there. And then, like always, this thing can move its feet a little bit around. It can wiggle up and down, a little bit left and right, not too much, but it can wiggle. Same thing with the right leg, could move all the way there, no problem at all. Then bend at the joints, as this technically does have, technically has a double joint, I'm pretty sure. We call this double joint, and like with the feet, up and down, no problem at all. We go a little bit left, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the articulation. All right, back and let's do some science comparison. Last time we have, because I'm pretty sure her 118 scale is basically around like what 3.5 inches right here. So was there the uh, other battle sister that I got last time when I reviewed? Then we also have one of my mini commando troopers right here. This right here is a little bit smaller. This thing's probably 
2.75 inches right now. This one here is an older. Figured I was doing repaint work on. Uh, what's it called? It's also compared to some of my other clone troopers. And we're going to go with that. There's another uh, 3.7 inch figures right here. This is a clone Coruscant trooper. So you also have a Mandalorian from the Old Republic right there. These are small troopers. Not compared to relatively size. These are around uh, 3.75 inches. So not that big, not that small. Let's go compare to some of my other figures, like my Gumpla. we right here with my trusty main picture Gumpla right here. This is the main guy from the channel. My Stray Igneous and more glorious red. See right here, he's got it more redder than last time. And then we have one of my other troopers right here. Another of my Mandalorian. Well, I count Boba Fett's Mandalorian. Or Boba Fett during his new era drebs right there. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure he actually doesn't fall whatnot. <sighs> As well, right here is the standard of 144s. No, not 144 scale. 16, 16, 16 or 112 scale. I forget. Either way, it's uh, around 6 inches. Both of it. Overall, it's a pretty nice little tiny figure. You buy a bunch of these, you can probably make a good army of that. Now let's go with the final thoughts of the review. Overall, a very nice little figure. I really do enjoy these Joe Toy figures. Once they're cold. They're really nice, detailed design, the sculpting is great in all these. Weaponry is always good, the articulation is great for these. And for the good bang of buck, some of these are kind of pricey depending on the situation how you get these. Some of them are going between uh, 30 and 50. Some other ones, well, the other ones being the more bigger ones like the Dreadnoughts or the more mecha armor ones do technically cost around 80 to 100 bucks. But this one right here cost me around like 40-ish bucks. I got this on Amazon, that's where I got mine. But overall, a nice pretty good figure. Uh, but with that out of the way, this is the review for the Adept Sword. It is Order of the ba uh, Bloody Rose Battle Sisters, Sister Ignacia. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. But as always, have a good day, folks. And this is I, uh, Pyro Arden, and I'll see you guys on the next one.